In the realm of puzzles, the Rubik's Cube stands as a colossus, a marvel of complexity wrapped in a seemingly simple package. Six faces, nine squares each, and a mind-boggling 43 quintillion possible configurations. It's a challenge that has intrigued and stumped countless minds since its creation in the 1970s. But fear not, for today, we unravel the mystery that is the Rubik's Cube. We delve into the heart of its labyrinth, armed with knowledge and strategy, to emerge victorious with all six faces showing a single solid color. Let us begin at the very foundation. The Rubik's Cube isn't just a 3x3x3 block of squares, it's a mechanical marvel, a core and many smaller pieces, each capable of independent rotation. Understanding the cube's mechanics is a crucial first step in mastering the art of solving it. The journey to solve a Rubik's Cube often begins with what is known as the White Cross. This refers to aligning white edge pieces around the white center, forming a cross. The objective isn't just to create the cross, but to align the side colors of the edge pieces with the corresponding center colors. Once the white cross is achieved, we move to fill in the white corners, thereby completing the first layer. This involves finding the right corner piece, positioning it, and then using a specific sequence of moves to slot it into place. With the first layer complete, our next goal is the second layer. This involves identifying unsolved edge pieces, positioning them correctly relative to their final destination, and then executing a sequence of moves to put the piece into its correct position. As we ascend to the final layer, the puzzle becomes more intricate. Here, we aim to make a yellow cross, similar to the white cross we started with. However, the process is more complex, requiring a specific algorithm to correctly position the pieces. Following the creation of the yellow cross, we seek to place the remaining yellow corners. This involves another algorithm, this time to rotate the corners into their correct orientation. The penultimate step is to position the yellow edges correctly. This is achieved through yet another algorithm which swaps the edges around without disturbing the corners. Finally, we reach the last step of our journey. The aim is to position the yellow corners correctly. A final algorithm is used to swap the corners around without affecting the rest of the cube. In summary, the process of solving a Rubik's Cube involves a series of steps. Creating the white cross, filling in the white corners, solving the second layer, creating the yellow cross, placing the yellow corners, positioning the yellow edges, and finally, positioning the yellow corners. Each step requires a clear understanding of the cube's mechanics, a keen eye for identifying the correct pieces and positions, and a mastery of specific sequences of moves or algorithms. With practice, what seems like an impossible task becomes an achievable, even enjoyable challenge. Remember, every master was once a beginner. Every solved Rubik's Cube started as a scrambled mess of colors. With patience, perseverance and strategy, the solution is within your grasp. The Rubik's Cube is not just a puzzle, it's a journey. An exploration of complexity and a testament to the power of the human mind. So pick up a cube and let the adventure begin.